Hello and welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT. We're in Curse of Strahd and we're going to continue doing some building, get the village of Barovia up and running, ready to go. Uh, now, uh, we've said in previous videos, of course, that we need to be careful not to prepare too far in advance um, and we need to make sure that we are adjusting appropriately as our party catch up with us. Having said that, of course, I am getting a little bit ahead of myself, but what I'm doing is building buildings and putting those things in place. So the story might wiggle all over the place depending on the individuals, um, but the buildings and the lighting and things like that, we can go ahead with that before anybody sort of says, oh, you're not taking your own advice. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> um, but I will come back and adjust as I need to as uh, various things happen. But the chances are of buildings like Mad Mary's townhouse being removed from the map before they even visit it is extremely unlikely so uh, I'm quite confident in spending the time and as I said before I quite enjoy the uh, the experience of building these things and putting them together right so before we carry on this is uh, we're in Mad Mary's townhouse here Mr Defaulty thank you for your comment in the previous video pointed out that uh, I missed something uh, I missed a couple of things <laughs> <laughs> doing videos while doing this it's really easy to make mistakes uh this should be a door <laughs> i hadn't turned that one into a door so uh that's nice and easy we'll put uh we'll put a sound effect on there and make it nice and creaky of course so i had missed that and also he pointed out that the windows upstairs i hadn't changed those to be barred windows and uh, again it's not a critical uh thing if i don't do that but um true to the module at this moment those windows are supposed to be boarded up. So um, thank you for pointing that out, that I'd missed it. So I'm going to, again, change all of these to normal um, and make them basically into normal walls, okay? Blech. Classic me. Uh, make them into normal walls. And of course, if they do rip off the, the, um, the, the, the planking and stuff that's barring the windows, I can easily, on the fly, just go back in and change that to a window. That's really easy to do. Simple, simple, simple. I could do it on the fly. No drama. Um, I better check because Mr. Defaulty is going to be on me if I <laughs> if I missed any. All right, all my doors are good. <laughs> and again, uh, that's not a criticism, sir. I really, I really appreciate yeah, your input and pointing those comments out. Um, sometimes it's just a mistake like that, and I've just missed something. Other times, you've got you guys have got better or different ways of doing it. It's like, have you thought of doing it like this? It's like, no, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, because I'm always happy to have your input, your critique, your ideas and things like that, because I can share them with other people too. So the last thing, now I've fixed those that we need to do in the townhouse is, of course, I've got the, um, when I go to my NPCs here in the village, I've got Mad Mary, um, but uh, I just need to update the icon for it. So if we double right click here, one, I need to change it. And while her name isn't Mad Mary, she's known as Mad Mary. Everybody's going to refer to her as Mad Mary. So I'm happy to actually call her Mad Mary. And just check I'm picking my image from the correct place in my tokens folder. Um, where are you? Oh. Why is Mad Mary not in here? Modules, cursor, strad, packs. How interesting. I obviously had uploaded her. Let's go to my tokens and make sure I'm picking Mad Mary. Oh, no, of course I didn't, stupid boy. I didn't because I didn't have that image. I hadn't created it. That's why. So we can do that now. There we go. That's my Mad Mary token that I'm using. And I just want to update, obviously, this image here as well. There we go. Brilliant. And, ooh. Just check. Yeah, I am calling that from the correct place. So that, for me, because I'm building this into the adventure, I need to be really, really careful about where I'm storing those those images and stuff, as I've sort of said before, repeating myself a bit. Apologies. Right, so I'm happy then that we've got the Mercantile is done, the Blood on the Vine Tavern is done, and Mayor Mary's Townhouse is done. Now, I have obviously got, if I can open it, a copy of the module here. I'm not going to um, have that on screen as I scroll through things uh, because obviously it's copyrighted. So um, while I can absolutely build to that, it would be totally inappropriate to show you the whole adventure. Right, the next scene we're going to do. So we've done the Mercantile, Blood on the Vine, Mad Marys. Let's do the Burgo Masters Mansion. Uh, I can never spell this. Burgo Masters. 
mansion. Right, there we go. Got it. <laughs> right, so uh, obviously, first thing I need to do is to import my image. So go to configure my scene name. I don't want everything showing in navigation. Turn that off. Select my correct file. Don't want it in my tokens. I want it in my scenes, Barovia Village. And I'm going to choose. Now, it's not in here, of course. It's going to be in Barovia Maps. Uh, now, again, I, this is um, Aon Bar. I keep calling it Anobar. It's Aon a o n a on bar um, cartography it's their maps that i'm using because uh, again we're allowed to use those which is great we have got two floors here uh, we've got roof as well i'm not bothering putting roofs on i know somebody made the comment before about their party climbing on roofs and stuff um yeah i, I totally get that <laughs> and it can be handy to have the roofs i just find it's easy to build without them so let's save those changes first of all before I go any further, I need to make sure I set up my levels on this so I don't mess up my walls and stuff. So let's add a new level. Let's add two levels on here and we can edit those. And again, just like before, this is ground floor. Uh, must remember to put the heights in. So that's zero to 10 foot is the ground floor and the first floor. And again, for the Americans out there, um, I'm not sure what other nations do it the, in inverted commas, the American way. Be interested to know if you're, we got people from all over the world um, on this channel. I know we don't have a huge amount of uh, subscribers, but you guys are from all over the place. Um, we've got people from uh, Japan, from Australia, from South Africa. You, you, it, it's, it's kind of global. It's amazing. Um, in the UK, the first floor at ground level we call the ground floor and then you go up one floor to the first floor now most americans i could be wrong but i believe americans go well it's the first floor that's the one on the ground and then it's second floor be interested to know how that works around the world for other people i don't know people do it the british way the american way australia do it the british way although i have heard in australia them doing it the american way as well you know just because Right, shall I shut up and crack on with doing this? <laughs> it's a bit of a segue. So the first thing I want to do is sort my grid out. So I can go to my grid and again, what I do is I make it red and I turn it up just to make it easier to see. And then I'm going to look and go, well, hang on a minute. We've got the same, so the maps are all coming from the same person from Aeon Bar, which is great, which means they're all at the same scale, which is great. And what we're working out is actually, I need to just double my pixels to make that work for us. So if I come in here, uh, excuse, not, whoa, I want 200 pixels. Um, and that should, there we go. So each of these doors is five foot wide effectively. Th these are double doors here. So that straight away, boom, nice and easy, easy peasy grid. Now I don't want my grid on. So I'm just going to make that transparent. There we go. So the grid is there, it's just invisible. So that's step one. Brilliant. Uh, ground floor, obviously, uh, it's time to do some walls, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's do walls first, and then we can do our regions. Now, if I do my walls correctly this time, we won't get some weird stuff with that. So uh, again, we've got windows in here. Hang on a sec, before I do that, uh, let's put on the snapping, thank you and hopefully these things will line up nicely. I'm going to quickly check and see in the description because I think the, the windows are probably boarded up here as well because this place has been under siege. So it talks about da 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 da, uh, that's all the outside. All the windows are barred with planks, each one marked with stains of evil omen. So just like before for Mad Mary's place, these windows are going to be boarded up, so I'm just going to make them walls to start with. But you'll notice the way that I'm doing this is I am creating this area here. So this bit here, which is a window. So if they unboard it, I haven't got to redraw the wall. I can just go in and go, well, actually, yes, now it doesn't stop light. Um, now it, you know, and add the site on. So I can just do that really, really easily. I'll make sure I put that back to a proper wall um, later on if I want to on the fly. Okay, so let's carry on and just get the rest of these in. There's see that here's a window that is not aligned um, <laughs> with the grid. That's fine. I'll come back and do that once I turn the snapping off. Uh, 
and we've got another window here that again that's not aligned but that's again it's not a problem at all we just turn the snapping off in a minute and we can sort that out having a bit of a bit of an issue <laughs> it's not like me I hear you say it's not like me to have a bit of an issue with that there we go uh, and again that's the one that's not going to line up so it, it's it's really easy to do these so if I turn the snapping off this is where I need to be careful I don't leave my gaps in the wall the good thing is, doing the regions that I'm going to do in a few moments... Oh, come on, you muppet. Uh, when I do the regions in a few moments, it will highlight any places where I've made that mistake. Right, get rid. I know, it's torturous, isn't it, watching me do this? I don't want to stretch that one. Stop it. Get off. Do you know what? Some days I really struggle with the basics, right? Oop. There we go. Right, where was... There we go. Right. Uh, this wall here. I don't know what excuse I can use for my inability. I've, you know... Is it okay to say it's my age? I'm, I'm not really that old. <laughs> I do find I'm using that as an excuse more and more. All right, have we got everything? Right, we're good, we have. So first thing I'm going to do, of course, is select, hold down shift so I can select all of the doors. Uh, door, 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 door. Uh, a door there, a door there, a door there. Have I got them all? I'm going to get into trouble if I've missed one, haven't I? Those are windows. I say get into trouble. I've missed a wall there. I'll do that in a second. All right, so we've only got the main doors in. That's fine. So let's change these two doors. There we go. Uh, of course, we're going to make them creaky. Everything's creaky here. That's great. Let's put in the... Uh, extra window here that I missed okay so we've got our doors in we've got our windows as walls for the moment because they're boarded up that's all good now what we can do of course is go to our regions and we want to create a new region and if we edit that we can uh, do you know what? I'm still getting used to this aren't I we want to add a region that is bounded by the walls. A shape. Oh, of course, I need to select the walls, you absolute nana. Select the walls. There we go. Oh. Got a bit missed. Why have we got a bit missed? What's wrong with this? Oh, look. Me and my inability to... Don't do that. And it's just where those haven't linked up properly. So if I bin my region again and do... I've not got them selected. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Right, okay. So all of those are now inside, which is good. Now I'm going to call this interior. Um, I'm not using many regions apart from using interior at the moment, but um, it's useful to kind of have that in. So uh, behaviors, of course, what we want to do is add behaviors in. I'm going to adjust darkness level um, just so it's always slightly darker inside compared to outside. Um, and the other behavior I want, of course, is the weather suppression. So suppress the weather in there. Nice and easy. Good. Update the region. So um, 
weather for this again the village itself i've got general rain on everywhere so that's what i'm going to have here as well so when we go to ambience weather effect i'm just going to pick that rain and just check good it's not raining indoors fantastic check the first floor oh turn off the edit thank you if i check the first floor we haven't got anything on there which is fine but the ground floor is pretty much done apart from lighting of course so let's go to the first floor and now we need to bring in our first floor image of course so i'm going to go i'm on tiles i'm going to go to my tile browser uh, 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 uh. make sure that i'm going to save it in the correct place in my village of barovia and now i can choose my file and go for my burgomaster's first floor which one was it Uh, there we go and then I can drag that in close that and obviously line this up with the rest of the building uh, which should be perfectly like that there we go so now we've got our first floor so we can switch between our ground floor and our first floor and we've got no rain in here uh, sorry time to do doors and windows again <laughs> uh, so let's put the clipping the uh, snapping on because it does make it easier especially for an idiot like myself and we can again there's one that won't won't snap in that's fine I'll move that one afterwards um, in fact actually let's just put it in and then I can adjust them rather than redraw them maybe that's a way of me being less rubbish that window's nice and convenient thank you appreciate that uh, but again, I'm going to have to adjust that one. We can come down here. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not a particular logical order of which way I approach this, is there? You know, just as long as everything gets done, doesn't really matter. Windows, windows, and the windows are going to be barred up here as well. Again, there's another one I need. To, I will need to adjust. Get out. Hello, why are you doing that? Nobody's asking you to do that. I want from here. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'll see see what I'm going to do with the stairs in a moment. So there's another one that I'm going to need to adjust just there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just bring that straight across. Again, there's another window to adjust there. Another one to adjust there. Sort that out in a moment. Let's get the walls and stuff in I'm not too sure what to do about that in a moment I'll sort that out okay so we've got all of these in let's turn the snapping off let's sort out these windows that are misaligned like this one over here uh, so let's take that point move it to there then we'll add another one on like that so again just like with the ground floor it's their barred windows so they're not going to be a problem the fact that they are walls and they're misaligned but if the players decide they want to open them which is fine um no move that down there thank you move that one up there thank you oh actually i can do that the other way can't i uh sorry braining trying to brain and talk at the same time it's, it's difficult right <laughs> it's difficult for me Put that in there move that one down there stretch that one out there there we go that's fine um yeah so like before it's just preparing it if they do want to remove the um the uh the, you know the planking and stuff off the windows is fine i can just convert them straight away back to windows so all i'm worried about really is making sure that these are lined up so it's very easy for me to do that on the fly if if i need to um Otherwise, I wouldn't be bothering, to be honest. It wouldn't wouldn't make enough of a difference to do it. But if they want to smash that window out, it, all I need to do is select that one window bit. I haven't got to redraw walls and stuff. I'm doing that bit now. Um, you know, save, my save myself time later in-game so I can just crack on and focus on running the game, not on fiddling with walls and stuff, whatever. I potentially need to so shrink that one down there we go somebody's gonna someday tell me like did you know if you did this you could do it half snapping 
it's going to be a key or something you can hold down to give it to snap half instead of the full ones that will make that even easier um, and less painful for you guys to watch okay good right so we've got all of those in um, what I do need to do of course is the doors so that's a door that's a door those are both doors that's a door that is a door and that is a door so let's click those let's change that to a door uh, we're going to choose basic for this one and we've got all our doors in now this is going to be the staircase where we're obviously going to go up and down um, so the question is this is obviously the top of the stairs so we're going to go down that way so do I put walls in here to stop them just jumping across there I think I will it's not that important discord go away apologies for that um, I have to remember to turn Discord off because it does uh, spam me quite frequently. It's, all <laughs> it's mostly the devs. <laughs> I do like to have it open and just keep up with... Because at some point, there's going to be an emergency video when things like defreds, Chris's pre-mades and stuff like that hit. Uh, so with these, I think I'm going to make them... Um, Restrict movement, yes. They don't restrict light uh, and they don't restrict sight. Okay, uh, they don't restrict sound either. Okay, so they can see through them, but they need to walk around the stairs rather than jumping up there. So again, right, this floor is pretty much done as well, isn't it? Easy peasy. Um, well, it's easy if you're not an absolute muppet like myself. Lighting, that's what we need to do. But again, I'm going to... I was going to say cheat. It's not cheating at all. Um, but I'm going to just use lighting that I've used on the other floors. So I'm selecting one of those wall lamps. Nice and easy. Go back to the Burgermaster's Mansion. And very conveniently, we've got these wall lamps on here. And I can just paste these in because all my settings are already done. So they're standard lamps throughout the whole of these maps. I'm going to move their position slightly in a minute, as we've talked about before. Just need to make sure everywhere there's one of these lamps I have a light guarantee if I miss one that'll be the one the players will decide oh can we light a lantern kids <laughs> and again it's not a big deal because I can just do this I can find one that is working and copy and paste it but it's going to make it less stressful for me if I've done that ahead of time there's another one there nearly missed uh, one in here no others in here no everyone in here as well so I think I've got them of course I haven't uh, oh oh I haven't got my dag nabbit where have I just put all my lights okay so I've just done something stupid is I have put all my lights out um, but I didn't have levels open so it's put them in weird places so I can't necessarily, yeah. So watch that because I changed scenes. <laughs> so I'm going to do that again and then I'm going to get rid of those lights that aren't correct. So let me, lights, thank you. Okay, so let me get rid of these ones that I've just put in the wrong places. So some of them will be fine. So that one, and again, you can just see at the top, up here, it's showing me that that is level zero to ten. So that should that's on the ground floor. Hello, this is Clay Golem in editor mode. Um, yeah, footage went a very awry at that point, and uh, I lost a whole bunch of stuff. So apologies for the kind of sudden abruptness and switch over to uh, future Clay Golem. <laughs> So I carried on building out stuff, uh, recorded all that lovely stuff. I know these videos aren't as popular as the add-ons and stuff like that, but um, I know some of you do enjoy just watching the process uh, and laughing at my ineptitude. Um, but I've lost all that footage, so haha, -ha, joke's on you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do uh, come back at the end and just show you what I did and what I finished off for it. So in the Burgermaster's Mansion here, um, I finished all the lighting, finished all the walls for the upstairs as well. I've still got all the lights switched on, which I will switch off the inappropriate lights because we don't just waste fuel. 
Um, I did put in the stair transition here, so it would remove between the two levels. And of course, I bought put out the MPC. So I bought out a few MPCs here. So this is my Irina. So I did that, and that's all finished, and this is ready to go. Um, the we then went on, I went on, on my own, as it turned out. I thought you were with me, but you weren't. Just rude. Just rude, the lot of you. Um, I went on and built the church as well. So again, Aeon Bar's maps, is, we're continuing to use those. And I've built the church and the Undercroft as part of that. Again, put in the Ripper um, stair movement between the levels. And I've put out the two NPCs. So this poor chap who's... Uh, who's been turned into a vampire spawn uh, what's his name uh, doro or dora uh, and donovich the mad priest so very similar to what we did before you didn't really miss anything um windows actually work in this i put all the walls in and i've copied in all of the lights uh, for this area as well as well as doing the region so yeah obviously that took a little while didn't take that long to be honest but we've got pretty much most of the village is now complete um we've only got i think there's only one other location to do i'm just going to quickly check what that is to be honest um da -da 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 -da. Uh, we've done the church so the cemetery yeah so what i what i said about the cemetery is there's the dance of death um where the at, at midnight ghosts arise from the churchyard from the cemetery and march up to castle ravenloft now i haven't got representation for that i suspect in benios's maps um that's probably one of the videos that they've got but i'm not using benios's stuff because i want to be able to package this and be able to share it so i have to be careful of the content i use so i'm not sure how i'm going to deal with that uh, the march of the dead i suspect i'm going to end up just giving an audio description rather than anything else um, but maybe, maybe there's something on YouTube that I can use and direct my players to watch. Um, but yeah, I'll have to have a little investigation there. So the only thing I'm missing are on any of these scenes that we've done, so we've pretty much got all of them done, um, is um, some sounds. So we will have, uh, we need a, a scream from this guy. I'll, some muttering prayers would be nice for this guy. Um, Mad Mary's sobbing would be good. Hello. So over here, Mad Mary's sobbing that emanates from the house. That would be useful. To need to find a sound for that. Um, and um, And a couple of things like fireplaces. I just need to... So we've got some fireplaces here. Just put some sounds on. I've already got a fireplace one. That's really easy I'm going to do. But I just wanted to bring you up to speed with um, with what I've done and the fact I've built the rest of this out. And I, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks good. These maps are great. I, I like them. Everybody's got a preference, of course. I like them. They're nice and, they're nice and clean. They're not massively over-cluttered. Um, which is good, but they've also got enough detail to kind of really, you know, that, that's obvious. They're walking there. That's obviously a dining room. Yeah, but there's plenty of room for the players to move around without cluttering, without falling over stuff. This is obviously a kitchen. This is obviously a study. So I really, really like those. But anyway, apologies for the for the lost footage. Um, like I say, you didn't see anything new. I didn't do anything magic. It's only stuff we've done before. But I do know some of you enjoy watching these. So it's a bit of a shame that um, we lost those. There's loads more to come. Don't panic. There'll be plenty of other stuff for you to laugh at me for getting wrong. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, if you have watched this, I do appreciate it. Uh, like, uh, subscribe if you're not if you've not already. Uh, we're on our way to a thousand subscribers, which will be a brilliant landmark to hit. We're about three quarters of the way there. Um, yeah, that'd be great. And of course, comments, ideas, anything that you feel that you want to see me do, um, add-ons you want me to look at. Uh, advice for how we can do this atmospherics and stuff like that yeah give us a shout let us know drop it in the comments thanks guys i will see you in the next one